This video will show you how to assemble all the components on the x-axis. We start by shaving off unwanted strands of PLA from the printed parts. You must be careful if you use a sharp blade. It's important to leave the holes clean so you won't have trouble fitting the guides and rods. Next we'll be selecting the guides to use. We'll be using the longer pair from the four we have left. On the end of each guide place a printed piece. They are a one-way fit and must be pushed all the way, then you can swivel the pieces into position. Following this, we'll be assembling the tips of the x-axis. Note that among the metal brackets there are three identical pieces, and we'll be using two of these identical pieces for the next step. Have on hand the nut screws and washers indicated in the manual for this step. You can thread the screws now like we're showing you, or after sandwiching the bearings and the nut. It's up to you to pick which you find easiest. Each printed part on the tip of each guide has a protrusion that fits into a slot on the metal bracket. Either way, take note and thread the screws in the direction shown here. Place linear bearings and a brass nut into the corresponding slots as shown, then put the other metal bracket on top. Make sure both brackets line up perfectly or you won't be able to fasten them together properly. Place a nut on each screw and finger tighten them to keep the pieces in place, then thread all of them and place the corresponding washers and nuts. Leave them finger tight as you will tighten them in a moment. Once this is done, this is how the tip of the x-axis should look so far. Note how the nuts are all on the same side. Next, we assemble a pulley and a spacer. Note how the spacer only fits into one side of the pulley, and that's the side to place it. Then thread the screw in the direction shown. This small assembled piece then threads into the hole shown. It's important to note it fits onto the side of the larger piece with the nuts. Flip the whole ensemble over and apply the washer and nuts onto the screw's threaded end. Now tighten all the screws and nuts. Tighten each screw and nut bit by bit and knot each screw fully, one at a time, to tighten the assembled parts evenly. The next step is to slide the pre-assembled extruder unit onto the guides. Pay attention to the manual because all components must face a particular direction. Slide the guides into the linear bearings on the extruder unit. Move the guides back and forth to check they are sliding freely. Now it's time to assemble the other end of the x-axis. This is essentially symmetrical to the other side, except that metal bracket with the extra part. Make sure you assemble this piece on the correct side. Assemble this set of pieces in exactly the same fashion, keeping the nuts and screws facing the same direction. The process is different from the point where you assembled the spacer and the pulley. On this side, you won't have this component. When moving the whole ensemble, be sure not to rest it on top of the extruder nozzles. Before moving on, check and see if the guides slide freely. On the side you've just assembled, you'll be mounting a stepper motor. Make sure you grab the one that has X axis written on the label. Before going any further, you must attach the tooth pulley to the motor shaft. The pulley must have a small clearance from the motor casing. Do up both socket set screws. Now it's time to attach the stepper motor to the x-axis. First, notice how the motor is oriented in relation to the axis. Second, make sure that the wiring coming out of the motor is facing the direction shown. Fasten the washers and the screws into the three holes. Don't fasten them all the way, since you will have to adjust the position of the motor to mount a belt later on. The final stage starts with applying this screw to the printed part seen here. Fasten it until it comes out the other end, but it doesn't matter how much because this must be calibrated later on. The printed parts with a the screw then clips neatly into place as shown. The x-axis is now ready. 